for See It or Skip It. And this week, one of the biggest movies of the entire summer hit movie theaters. And that's no understatement. We're talking the new Mission Impossible movie. So film critic Patrick Beatty joins us in the studio with the review. This is the one we've been waiting for here, Patrick. Right. Well, this movie, should we choose to accept it, mm -hmm. is actually going to be probably one of the biggest blockbusters of the summer, which thank goodness, because it's been kind of a drought lately as far as box office numbers. Which, by the way, pay your writers and actors. Let's talk about Tom Cruise being 61 years old and sprinting. Why is he doing that? How can he do it? Each each of these Mission Impossible films, it seems like he's going to be a little bit slower, but he's just upping the ante. This is the seventh film, and they're still going harder, doing more impressive stunts, having a more captivating story than they have previously. And I don't know. Where, where else can you go? This is just a fun time in the theaters. I'm going to say, you're going to say, see it on Definitely this one? Definitely see it. Definitely mm -hmm. see it. You got it, right? What else is out? There's that new horror film, Run, Rabbit, Run. How's that? Right. So this was on Netflix, and the Emmys uh, nominations were happening this week, right? Since so Sarah Snook from... Uh, uh, Succession got a lot of nominations, and this just proves how good of an actress she is. Run, Rabbit, Run is terrifying in many ways. It's where they go into the familial start, uh, parts, and you're looking at maybe a daughter that you might not know who she actually is, or maybe she's pretending to someone else or being possessed by something. There's tons of twists and turns with this. I think Sarah Snook is such a great actress, so go watch it if you're at home. Now, if you're into streaming, I know there's one that's out. The new series, see, uh, Season 2. Well, let me get this straight. After Party Season 2 coming out. Right. Here. So the After Party, this is so cool. It's like a murder mystery, but each episode, they do it in a completely different genre. So one could be like an action thriller telling the story of one character. The next story could be a black and white noir thriller. And so it's fascinating how they're able to do that and seeing which uh, styles might be more difficult to do versus another. It's definitely a see it. And we are so lucky because we got to actually talk with the creator, director, Christopher Miller, Phil Lord, about this and some of the styles that they thought were the most challenging. That's big time. Let's Take a look, we have a clip here. What were some of the genres that you were doing this season that were the hardest to do technically? Yeah, I mean this we really upped the ante with the with the genres this year and you know doing things that were like a Jane Austen episode where people were in period costume was a type of thing that we would not have done in the first season because we weren't sure people were gonna go along with something that crazy. But it ended up being really fun and and uh, and exciting. We also, you know, just technically speaking, shot an entire episode on an iPhone. And every scene, because it's being held by a character, are essentially one shots. Uh, so the court, having to work out the choreography of all of those and right. all the technical, how to capture that uh, was a lot. It was it was very fun, but it was definitely technically challenging. Definitely strange to do something on an iPhone, being an actor and your own director oh, yeah. too. It's such a cool challenge. Impressive though. Mm -hmm, very much so. So yeah. you recommend it? This is a see it, especially if you love Phil Lord and Chris Miller. They're the Spider Verse directors. They're the Lego Movie directors. They're fantastic. Yeah, and you can watch that now. Mm -hmm, right? Absolutely. Yep, right now on Apple TV Plus. Now we have to wait a week, find out what you're reviewing next week. And that's big ones here too. Oh yeah. Well, it's uh, come on, Barbie. Let's go party. <laughs> We're talking Barbie and Oppenheimer. Woohoo! It's going to be a big week. A very big week. Mm -hmm. High hopes for that Barbie one for sure. And those are all the platforms you can see Patrick's reviews on. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, looking forward to the next week as well. So still ahead for us on Midday.